today I'm working on a short film. Jake is picking me up from Footscray Station, so it shouldn't be too complicated. Annoyingly, all of the trains are running like 20 to 30 minutes late. So even though I was ahead of time, I'm now going to be late, which is so, so frustrating. Turns out the station was way closer than I thought, so I'm actually early, but this is so weird. I'm so not used to being in new areas. I don't know how Melbourne can look so different no matter what station you get off. That's one thing I've secretly loved about working on short films. You just end up in random destinations and you're like, what is this place? It's like I'm traveling all the time. It's cool. Check this out. Woo. Hello. Look at this. So, mum recently found these silk pajamas, so I stole them and look how cute they are. I don't know if any of you guys would actually like them, but I'm just obsessed with silk, mainly because my eczema is just so sensitive that like I just need something that isn't itchy, so this is ideal. The short film Pickles is being filmed tomorrow, so I have to organize last minute props and costumes and stuff like that, but that's all while I'm at home, so I kind of still get to relax in my own way. But I had such a fun time on the short film yesterday. I don't think I spoke to you guys about it at all because I was just in quite a hurry, so I sort of just filmed little bits here and there. It is a modern fairy tale. I can't really tell you the outline of the story. It is going to be entered into Tropfest, which is an amazing film festival. And I've just learned so much from Jake. I really hope that I get to work with the production company Girls Act Good again. I'll have their Facebook page in the description of this vlog because it was very cool having an all girls crew. I'm making these rice paper rolls because we had a lot of stuff left over from the other night. So I thought might as well use it. That's perfect for a lunch. And they're actually turning out the size that we want. Ours were literally like burritos because we were putting way too much in. And we also didn't use the technique where after you take this out, after it's in here for 30 seconds, you then place it over there. So they were just like extra wet. So I place it down like this, this weird sticky thing. And then I chuck in some, I think this is zucchini, avocado, and some spring onions. And then wrap it up here, wrap it up here, wrap it up at the sides. And it's pretty messy, but my finished meal it actually turned out a lot better than last time <laughs> Where was it? God, Alright, everybody know about the training world. 
Look at all these things mum bought me for cleaning and look how organized they are. I have a sponge for each of them. I love it so so much. I'm about to clean and I'm so tired because I got home at 4am last night. I think that's when I slept round about. Oh my god, so dead, but I can do this. Oh yes, so yummy. And my brown rice green tea. <laughs> it's so nice. Is this one of oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Three, two, one! Oh, that's so gross! Oh god! I feel like I've just got like fresh new hair. Yeah, Dad's home and he's bought presents and this is a major plot twist one. How much cheaper was it? Half the price. price, that's awesome. Oh, it's so pretty. I'm gonna use this sometimes, even though I don't usually use hair dryers. He also got us tea and the boxes are really, really pretty. An English breakfast tea. And I don't know what all of this is, but it looks pretty exciting. So cool looking. I don't know. Drink it in the water first. Mm-hmm. Let's see what we get to this. Yeah. Yeah. it down. So there's the tubes in a move. Yep. When do I stop? <laughs> Just do it a few times. Spin it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God, even better. Film it, look. <laughs> I have just been cleaning the house for the last like three hours because it just took ages and my muscles were sore enough from Pilates. But now Blake and I are getting Nando's as you can clearly tell and I'm wearing my new shorts and they probably don't look that attractive on this angle but I really really like them. Usually when I wear a top over the top it would just cover the shorts and it didn't really look right to me so yeah I'm so excited to eat. We're back again. Yeah man it's been a while. I just finished filming my first story time video and that was tough to be honest. It wasn't like an emotional video to make but I found that so many times I was like Whew, I'm actually saying this out loud like it felt kind of daunting but I knew I really wanted to so it was definitely worth it if you'd like to check out my story time video I'm going to have it linked in the description of this video I am digging these plaits I think it looks so cute with my ombre and I don't know I feel like since I've gotten my hair cut it looks even cuter because of the layers so yay something weird happened in the kitchen I opened up the cupboard and because my eyes can't focus to the ground because it's too far away I saw something move from left to right and I heard like a like a movement sound and then I just ditched I thought it was like a piece of paper or like something that fell down and then moved but why would it be completely hidden then it would be on the right hand side of the cupboard Blake's scared it's a tarantula but like yeah, huntsman it's a spider I look fucking pretty I look at this so it could be behind that corner yeah but it would have to be tiny I have to go in the kitchen to go there stand up on there fuck me it's an onion skin it's an onion skin. <laughs> I knew it was brown. Oh, thank God. Are you sure you're not trolling me? No, it's onion. It's onion. Don't push me over. Oh my God, that's why I can't see it. Ah! See how loud it is? No wonder it must have gone. Come on, man. That was scary. I've had the craziest day today. I woke up and I felt so relaxed. I was sitting outside having tea. I was watching Hannibal Blake, which I'm loving so much right now. Like, honestly, those main two actors are like, oh, unbelievable. I want to watch every single movie and TV show they're in just because I love their work. And I was talking to my friend Dylan. He's like, oh, I'm working on the presentation. I was like, oh, okay. He's like, oh, hopefully I get it done by this Thursday. I was like, this Thursday. <laughs> In all honesty, I actually thought it was due weeks away. And I feel like a lot of the reason I felt that way was because I've been doing a lot of industry stuff recently. So all of my like off days outside of uni, I've been doing that. So obviously when I was at uni and they said a couple of weeks, I'm thinking like that's ages away, but the time passed so quickly, which was so, so scary. So I kind of had a bit of a freak out about all of that. 
but I think I should be able to get an extension, which will be really, really good. Hopefully that works out. Otherwise, Wednesday is going to be pretty crap. And I had to move Pilates to Wednesday too. We had it booked on Friday. We wanted to kind of stick to it being a regular Friday thing. But then someone messaged me on Facebook and told me about this camera operating experience. And I jumped on it straight away. I can't remember the company. I think it's called Face the Music. And I have to get there at 6 a.m. in the city. And then it wraps at 5 p.m. And it sounds amazing. And I'm working working with some of my friends. I love that I'm meeting more and more people and becoming closer to people in the camera department because it makes things like this even more exciting. All I know is it's alive and it's all to do with music, which is exciting. Even the footsteps seem a lot more. Well, they're more weighted because they're more yeah. sort of measured. Good day, Casey. Hey, how's it going? Back and You, you want to tell me what that was all about? It's actually very powerful for me because it's a mm. like battle of wills that comes through mm. and then it would be obviously the pacing was right, but on those kind of ones where you're just trying to get the meat around it I just need to feel all the way through all those transitions I just destroyed a meal but unfortunately I forgot to film it it's the usual noodles I get though and I got a green tea and then Blake got a cold green tea and he is now currently in the toilets which is hidden in that door he thought that was part of the wall so he was going to walk into the kitchen we're just chilling and having dinner and relaxing for the jmc screenings tonight my voice keeps sounding really really weird i feel like i'm getting sick it's like really really hurting it feels like cut back there which isn't a good sign because i really need to feel better before friday because it's a long day blake got me ice cream love that guy I got rainbow, it's like my favourite flavour, even though I'm pretty sure technically rainbow is caramel, so that's probably why I like it so much. Look how beautiful. I'm carrying around an ice cream and crown. I don't think I've been in here except gold class, like this casinos and shit. I don't understand, how is TGIF in here? We're trying to find Quinn and Dylan. I swear to God, we're in the wrong place. <laughs> <laughs> it's just designer brands, I'm so confused. No idea why, but okay. Is this a thing? Does this happen every night? Or something? It might not be an event. It would have to be though. Fireworks aren't cheap. Why is this happening? I don't know. I'm sure you get the point, my arms still. Mink literally flops down like this. She was sitting completely upright and then she just throws herself backwards onto him. She so loves you. Look, I just made my back mm. ready. Oh, you're right. I took a really great photo of Winston, so. <laughs> <laughs> I oh my love it. god, it's perfect. <laughs> oh, it's so good. I love it. So, I'm about to make this story time video live and I'm so nervous. Like, honestly, my heart is beating really fast and I'm just feeling anxious and I don't know why. Like, I'm sure everyone will be respectful. It's not really that. I'm not expecting, like, hate. It's just out of my comfort zone, I guess. But I know that I really got to do it for myself and for other people. And I feel like it will kind of, like, set me free, as <laughs> lame as that sounds. So, <sighs> going to make this public with you guys because I'm scared. <laughs> this is probably the scariest thing I've ever uploaded, which is weird because... It's not even that scary compared to other things other people upload, but I want to start making stuff that isn't like super easy to make, so publish. I am over the moon with the response that I got from you guys with that video. Like honestly, I got all of these paragraphs across Messenger and I got comments on my personal Facebook page, YouTube, and they're all 10 times better than I could have expected. I honestly didn't feel like anybody would really think my opinion is like different or worth listening to. So it has really boosted my confidence and I really want to start making more videos like this in the future. I am a little bit worried that it will cause problems in my personal life, but I might just be overthinking. It's just often with things like this, people wouldn't know it's my opinion because I keep it to myself and that could come across as like fake or hypocritical or whatever. Personally, I'm really bad at being straightforward with people. So like all the stuff I said in that video, I wouldn't say to someone if they were like that, I wouldn't have the confidence. So I'm really worried that that could cause problems, but Hopefully they understand.